Throughout history, mankind has organized through ever larger and more centralized hierarchies. And centralization as we know is the enemy of freedom, as those on the top will always oppress those on the bottom. But it's now 2017, and with the help of technology, the time of centralized hierarchies is quickly coming to an end. We have entered into the decentralization age, and peer-to-peer -peer technology is changing the world one piece at a time. Uber, for example, is replacing large taxi companies using only car owners and smartphones, and Airbnb has broken down barriers into the hotel industry as homeowners can now rent out their extra real estate and directly compete with large hotel companies. But that's just the start. Blockchain technology and cryptocurrency is growing to provide the technological backbone to allow free finance throughout the world. Bitcoin allows value to be transferred digitally at the speed of light in a trustless peer-to-peer -peer fashion, meaning governments no longer have a monopoly on money or stealing through inflation, and banks no longer have a monopoly on deposits or lending. And now, at BTC Pop, even the stock market has gone peer-to-peer. -peer. Any individual with access to the internet now has the tools at his or her disposal to launch their very own IPO and create globally tradable stocks. How can this be, you may wonder? Don't you have to be a large company to create global shares and launch an IPO? Let's dig into that a little bit. A share, as defined by Google, is one of the equal parts in which a company is divided, entitling a holder to a portion of the profits. So even Tommy's lemonade stand can issue shares, representing equity in the business, in order to raise startup capital for the stand. And once his parents purchase the shares, they are free to hold or trade them as they please. And when Tommy gets the profits from the business, he will face the business and moral decision of either paying them out as dividends, giving some back and reinvesting the rest, reinvesting all of it, or keeping it and lying about reinvesting. Because at the end of the day, the shares are really only as good as Tommy is. And this is true for any share, even Apple stock. Granted, large shares like Apple have many more employees in a very complex structure, in the end, it's always 100% reliant on people. Laws and contracts just give investors the illusion that they are investing in something safer than the promises and intentions of people running the company. Don't believe me? Look at Enron, a huge company with many laws, regulations, and contracts, but in the end it was brought down by a few malicious people at the top. In the fiat world, if you try and issue globally traded stocks, governments, lawyers, accountants, brokers, and exchanges act as middlemen, supposedly trying to help investors stay safe from risk. Entrepreneurs are put through the ringer in order to get a stock listed, having to navigate hundreds of items and pay huge fees for lawyers, accountants, license fees, audits, taxes, and on and on. Then, once the shares are traded, exchanges and brokers go to work on investors charging them exchange fees, broker fees, license fees, money management fees, more taxes, and on and on. And while they do reduce bad actors, they also severely hinder the free market and create huge barriers to entry. The truth is that there's natural incentives for businesses to operate legitimately and treat investors and customers fairly in order to grow and prosper in the long term. When you let it, the free market always produces the best outcome and BTC Pop works to bring the free market to the equities. BTC Pop is a peer-to-peer -peer finance platform based on verification, reputation, collateral, and sound money with Bitcoin. Borrowers who actually produce value are able to get the capital they need and are incentivized to remain good actors and maintain and build their reputation for further growth. This reputation isn't cheap or easy to get, and this is what disincentivizes bad actors. BTC Pop makes it as affordable as possible for good actors to gain this reputation with collateral loans and low interest rates. Once built with peer-to-peer -peer lending, this reputation flows very nicely from peer-to-peer -peer loans into peer-to-peer -peer shares. So reputable entrepreneurs are able to issue shares via an IPO at BTC Pop. Here the shares become available to the world via the internet to raise capital and almost anyone that is willing to pay Bitcoin for a stake in that company or project can do so. Following the IPO, issuers are able to easily communicate with their investors and distribute dividends through BTC Pop's system. And shareholders are able to freely trade their shares on BTC Pop's share market 
and even leverage them to use them as collateral for their own Bitcoin loans if they want to. It doesn't even need to be a brand new startup idea. IPO issuers can onboard existing companies and equity structures right into BTC Pop to take advantage of the communication, dividend, and share market features for both the issuer and the investor. BTC Pop's goal is to be a big player in the upcoming peer-to-peer -peer revolution. We believe the best way to do that is to simply step back and let the free market do its thing. So if you're an entrepreneur looking to raise capital for a new or existing business, or an investor looking to diversify and find some opportunities, head on over to btcpop.co today and help build a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized future.